is looking like. Jim Halbrook from uh, AISD, AISD, I'm used to them, they're closed as well, yes. from ABIA is on the horn with us this morning. Uh, see how flights are shaping up. Jim, thanks for being with us. Any closures we need to know about? Oh, good morning. Uh, the airport is open and operational, but passengers should check their flight status. This morning we've got 17 departures canceled and 10 arrivals canceled. Those departures are to areas that are also seeing snow, right? Uh, that is correct. Uh, uh, Houston, uh, Continental to Houston began closing their flights yesterday afternoon in preparation for this. And then we've got other ones such as Dallas and Chicago. It, it's kind of scattered across the board, so uh, just check your flight status before you come out. And remember, in this cold weather, you're going to have to take that coat off at that security checkpoint mm -hmm. and run it through the x-ray machine. Yeah, give yourself some extra time. Hey, Jim, the flights that are getting out, what kind of uh, measures are being taken by the ground crews there and everything, um, you know, is, I don't know if de-icing is a problem at this point. Um, we are de-icing the airfield to keep it operational, and the airlines are de-icing their jets to keep it operational. Also, we have uh, sanded the roadway to the airport. It's slushy but drivable. Good. So just again, you got 17 departures canceled, and how many arrivals? Ten. Ten arrivals. And let, let me ask you this, this and this, this might not be the fact at all or the case at all. Are we getting more arrivals and more people coming into Austin that are planning on going to the Super Bowl because they can't get into DFW, so they're rerouting and coming into Austin and going up north? Yes, we are, Chris. We're having uh, Packer fans and Steeler fans uh, come into Austin and, and head up that way. All right, so they'll be affected, too, with 10 arrivals canceled right now, 17 departures. All right, do you see this continuing throughout the day, or is this something that will ease? And the best advice for folks is get online or call your, tr your carrier and, and see where your, the status of your flight is. Well, passengers should definitely check their flight status, but we're not seeing right now any cancellations after 1 o'clock this afternoon. And, and that kind of figures given what the weather forecast is anyway because it's supposed to clear off and warm up. Okay, and Jim, uh, since you're with the airport, what do you, are you seeing anything as far as security lines? I know Friday's usually a big travel day, weekend getaway, people heading out of town. What's the deal with security lines? Are they long? Uh, security lines are pretty normal security line for Friday morning. Now, Fridays are heavily traveled days. It also seems as though people are getting the message to check their, their flights, though. They're, you know, there's not quite as long as a, as a normal day. But uh, we advise you still that if you have a flight before 8 o'clock at the airport to be there two hours early. Now, right. after 8 o'clock, 45 minutes because that line, you know, it ebbs and flows. It grows long and then it goes away. So, All right, Jim, thank you so much with ABIA. If you have a flight headed out of ABIA, uh, make sure you check their website for any cancellations. They do have more than a dozen cancellations already. Yeah, they have 17 departures that are canceled. Some the Continental, the Houston, 10 arrivals canceled. I always say, if you're going to get stuck in an airport, though, Austin's the place to get stuck. They'll probably have some live music. Music, going, right? yeah, great barbecue. barbecue and sit back yep. and relax. All right. <laughs>